Hey guys, I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to place guides in an exact location in Adobe Photoshop. So to begin, I'm going to open up a new document by hitting Create New, or you can drop down to File, New, Command N, Control N, any of those. Uh, 1920 by 1080, 72 DPI, RGB color mode, all that's great. Uh, what I really want to show you here, as we scale this down a little bit, and I'll zoom out a touch, is uh, how to place guides in an exact location, right? So there's a couple of ways to do it. There's one way to very specifically do it, and that is to go up to View and then drop down to New Guide. That's gonna open up a little dialog box in which you can place a guide exactly where you want it. So let's say I wanna place a vertical guide at uh, 72.5 pixels and hit OK. I'm just going to place that 72.5 pixels in from the edge. Or, you know, if I wanted it way over here, it would, would have been like 1800 and something pixels. Uh, so that's how to place it like that. You could also click and hold. That's how you create a guide from the ruler. And if you don't have, if you don't have rulers, that's Command R or Control R. Or go up to View and then Rulers to make sure that's checkmarked. But anyway, you can click and drag from the edge. And you can see there's this little X value that's counting up. So I could maybe place it right where I want, but as you can see here, it mostly is doing even numbers. It's really hard to get it right exactly where you want it. So if I hold Shift, it's gonna go in whole numbers. And actually, this one here is going by tens. So you can either just drag it and try to eyeball it, you can hold Shift and it's gonna go by tens, or you can go up to View and New Guide, and that's the only way that I know of to place it exactly where you want. If you know the exact measurement that you want, that's how you do that. So the other thing you can do here, I don't know if you guys know this, a uh, little extra tidbit, if I'm on the Move tool and I hold the Option key or Alt key and click on a guide, it'll actually take that guide and change it to be a uh, horizontal guide instead of vertical. And if just depends on where I click it. If I click it down here, it's going to change it to be down there. If I click it over here, it's going to change that to be a vertical guide right there. So that's another way to kind of place guides or, or alternate how those guides are placed on your document. Anyway, pretty short, quick tip tutorial. If you guys uh, like this one, hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.